guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is day five of my declutter series. Today I'm going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so this is what I'm starting with. I know compared to other YouTubers, I don't have a ton of palettes, but I definitely have too many for one person. So my goal for this video is not to declutter just to declutter and say that I you know, got rid of a lot of palettes. My purpose for this video is to just get rid of anything that I don't really use, anything that I don't love. I wanna be able to open my palette drawer and look at a palette and say, yes, I love that palette. So let's go ahead and get started. These are all just randomly stacked. So let's go ahead and start with this stack right here. Okay, these are my Smashbox palette. They came in a, um, it was a quad, and the fourth one was like a um, lip palette that I got rid of right away because I don't do lip palettes. This one um, is full of transformer shades. Um, these are really pretty. You put these over any base shade and it just transforms the color. And then these are two transforming blush shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. I like that one. This one I should have shown in the face palette, but it was mixed in with my small eyeshadow palettes. These are two blushes, these are two bronzers, and this is a banana shade. So I'm gonna keep that one, I like that. And then this one, um, I thought I was gonna keep it, but looking at it, you guys, these three colors right here I never use, they're too dark. And then this one is a throwaway shade. I hate when palettes have a skin tone, like my skin tone color in there. Because if I wanna set my eyes, you know, set my primer, I'll just use my palette, my um, like powder. I can't stand when it's a wasted shade. And then that really only leaves me with one, two, like six shades that I would use. So kind of is going to waste. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, let's see, these Rimmel palettes, these are pretty good. This one is the Electric Violet palette. This one I think has a lot of really beautiful purples. I'm gonna keep that one. And then let's see, the Spice palette. This one is a dupe for the Naked Heat. And I think I'm gonna keep it. And this Buxom palette, you guys, this is a custom palette that I created. And to be honest, every time I look at this, I'm really just uninspired. I kind of wish that I had picked some different colors. This color right here, I really don't love all that much. Um, and I know I could go out and you know get a couple different ones and replace some of these, but then I'd just be sinking more money into a palette that I'm just not in love with. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I hate that I spent the money on this, creating this palette, and then I don't even love it. So I'm gonna get rid of it just so I don't have to look at it anymore. Uh, let's see, okay, let's go with this pile. This Etude House, I got this from the Korean Beauty. I think the mats, oops, I think the mats in here are pretty good. Nice quality, nice um, like soft, you know, everyday colors. But these shimmers, you guys, look at this. That's like, it didn't even come up. Like nothing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I think the mattes are good quality, but the two main shimmers are just, are glittery, you know, are just nothing. They don't even show up. This e.l.f. palette, um, I'm very disappointed in this palette. This is the Summer Breeze. Everyone raves about these e.l.f. mattes. And for me, I just, they all blend away and look the same. I'm just not very inspired by this palette. The colors, are just very bland and boring. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This Butter London, got this in a BoxyCharm, Natural Goddess. This palette is quite a disappointment to be honest. These colors, like these um, shimmers are really pretty in the pan, but then they're just kind of lackluster on the eyes. And these mattes, I used this brown and it had completely just faded away within an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This Inferno palette by Bad Habit. I think the quality is really nice. I definitely don't need to keep both of these. I think they're both, let me open this up so there's no glare. They're both supposed to be dupes for the Naked Heat. Um, I think I'm leaning more towards this one because I like that it has um, this purple shade, gives me a little bit more variety. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. 
like I said before, and get rid of the Bad Habit Inferno. Really good quality on the Bad Habit palette, though. All right, so this Bare Minerals palette, this was their Aurora Lights, their holiday palette, and I really, really wanted this when it came out, and I had it in my shopping cart at QVC. I almost bought it, and then I was like, no, I don't need any more palettes, and so I took it out of my cart, and then honestly, I regretted it. And so I ended up finding this on Poshmark, uh, maybe like two or three months ago, like two months ago. I found it on Poshmark, it was brand new, it was still in the original packaging, and it was half the price. It was $29, $29 instead of $60. I think these were $60, right? Or were they 50? I think it was either 50 or 60, but I got it for $29. I'm very happy with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. This is a Revolution palette. I got this for free. Um, they had a sale, buy two, get one free, and I bought two face palettes and got this free. Um, these are really dark. Um, it's more like a fall palette. I think it's their, I think it's a Halloween theme palette. Give them darkness. Um, I'm gonna play around with it this fall, and then if it ends up being just you know too dark for what I like to use, then I'll get rid of it. But I want to at least play with it. I haven't used it yet. Okay. This Nubian palette by Juvius. So I had never tried Juvius. And then so um, Ulta was having a sale. I think it was like buy one, get one 50% off or you know something like that. And so I picked two. And I picked their two most neutral palettes. Because you know how they have bright, bright, crazy colors. So I picked this one. And to be honest, I really don't know why I picked this. Um, I think it was just because, you know, I, had, I picked the two most neutral. But these colors are way too, like... These shimmers are way too dark for anything that I like to use. These metallics, I mean, they're crazy insane. The pigmentation, the quality, they're smooth like butter. It's, they're so good. But this whole row is just way too dark for anything I like to use. And then even these two are shimmers too, and those are just way too dark. I only like to use dark colors as matte colors on the outer V for smoking on the outer V. So I hate to say it, and up until this minute, I really didn't think that I was gonna say this, but I think I'm gonna declutter this. That's crazy, I've barely played with it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. This Pure Festival palette came in a BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is always sending pure palettes. And to be honest, I really just don't like the quality. Um, these colors are way too dark, I'm never gonna use those. I'm never gonna use that color. The only one here that really interests me is this color. And I don't need a palette for just one color. These glitters, I'm not even going to try. So from what I understand, um, Pure has a pretty good formula. But the only ones I've ever tried are the ones that come in boxy charms. And a lot of them, I don't think this one is exclusive. But a lot of their palettes are exclusive to BoxyCharm. And from what I've heard, their exclusive BoxyCharm palettes, the quality just isn't as good as um, you know, their regular palettes. All right, so let's go ahead. And honestly, I wish BoxyCharm would stop sending these pure palettes because I've decluttered all of them at this point. Okay, this Too Faced Tickled Peach. I'm going to keep this one. This is really cute. I like that one. This Huda Beauty one, I'm going to keep. This is really beautiful. I think the quality is really nice. I'm tempted to buy more. Oh, sorry, that was loud. I'm tempted to buy more. But to be honest, this was the only one that um, whose color story I really liked. A lot of them that she had, you know, these little nine palettes, pan ones a lot of them I like several colors in it but then there's also several colors in each of them that I'm not interested in and these are too small to you know only enjoy you know half the colors so I'm going to keep that and I really don't think I'll probably buy anymore I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one I got that in that shop miss a video that did nothing didn't even show up on the eyes same with this one this one's okay it's a, definitely a lot better than the LA colors but honestly I just don't need it I have better single shadows um let's see this um throw kindness around like confetti tart palette i think i'm gonna get rid of this um i used to initially when i got tart let me see where it's at um my first high-end palette that i ever bought was the tartlet and bloom i was visiting my sister in new york and i decided i wanted to finally get a high-end palette and i bought this and i really loved it loved the quality loved the colors i thought it was beautiful i still do that's not showing up very well, but beautiful neutral palette. I love it. And so after buying this, I was like, oh, you know, Tarte's really good. So I, you know, started buying a lot of Tarte palettes. I bought a lot of these smaller ones, these like six, not the six pen ones, not their little skinny ones that they have that are just the six, 
but the ones that were more like eight or nine palettes that came with you know highlighters and things like that and then I slowly discovered that Tarte is just hit or miss these smaller ones that they have like this um, they're just they're very boring that's dry and chalky and it doesn't really show up and they're just boring you guys Tarte is very boring they have so many neutral brown palettes at this point that I'm just no I'm uninspired I don't enjoy them so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one I've already decluttered probably like four other ones at this point this galaxy chick by beach cosmetics I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one I already depotted the few colors in here that I liked the rest these are all basically the same color I mean they're marbled but they kind of blend away to the same color these are too dark I'm not interested in that bright orange so I'm gonna get rid of that um, let's see okay these color pops I have three of their um, like you know monochromatic ones the brown sugar one um, the thing that I really like about color pops palettes is that the pans easily pop out they're magnetic and they're not glued down so when I saw the brown sugar palette I really liked it but there was two or three colors in here that just kept me from really loving it so when I did my singles video yesterday well it was a few days ago but for you guys it was yesterday um, I had all my ColourPop singles, and so when I was rearranging them, I took out all the ones from here that I didn't love, and I swapped in for ones that I really liked. So now when I open the palette, I really love it. So like there's like a really dark shimmer shade, which I don't like dark shimmer shades. There is a my skin tone color up here, which I like I said, I can't stand when palettes do that. Um, and I think there's a third one that I swapped out. I think yeah I think there's a third one that I swapped out so now when I open this I really enjoy it and I like all these colors and then I did the same thing with the it's my pleasure palette um, there were I think three colors in here that I just didn't love one of them was a really bright bright like fuchsia color I don't wear those types of color it was beautiful to look at but it's not something I wear in my eyes and then there I think there's like a really deep dark vampy purple that I just it was a shimmer like I said I just don't like dark shimmers um, so when I was like again when I was doing my ColourPop singles, I took several that I liked and I threw them in here instead. So now when I open this, I love this palette. So I have the pinks and then the purples and then these all these shimmers down here, I really love. None of them are too dark, and I just really enjoy this palette now. Look at those, you guys. Really, really pretty. I'm very happy with that. And then I tried to do the same thing with the green palette, um, but I didn't have any other single color pops that would, you know, fit into, that would match with this color scheme. So I ended up rearranging them um, with, you know, what made more sense. And then in the end, I decided, you know, I just don't love this palette. The colors that I'm extremely drawn to, like these ones down here, the olives and the golds, I already have these you know a dozen times over in my single shadows with better quality the only one that I really was like yeah I should keep this color I don't have anything like it was the pretty chartreuse color it was somewhere over here because I rearranged them um, so I ended up just taking that one out and popping it into my singles so now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one I love green you guys but this specific palette like these colors up here are not my shades of green these ones and these ones you know like I said I have them a dozen times over so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one um, let me put that with my Jeffrey palettes. Let's see. Okay, so this is my Viseart palette. Rosie Edit, you guys. I haven't even had a chance to use this yet, but there's a reason. Oops, hello. Um, this palette is so beautiful, you guys, but I really want to do a get ready with me first impressions with this palette, and I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. Like, I haven't even swatched this yet because I really want it to be true first impressions. So um, I think I'm going to try to film a video this weekend to do a um, get ready with me and I'll use this palette as a first impressions. I'm like itching to use this guys you guys I have wanted Viseart for years but their palettes are so expensive they're like $80 and now they they're coming out with a lot of these smaller palettes and you know what I really love palettes with small pan sizes like ColourPop all of ColourPop's shadows are smaller compared to you know like a regular size palette no one's ever going to go through all of their shadows unless they're like a makeup artist that have tons and tons and tons of you know clients and bookings no one's going to go through all these um, shadows so i wish all companies would make their shadows smaller and then make their products cheaper 
because no one needs a giant palette full of colors that they're never gonna finish. This is a Too Faced Just Peachy palette. I really like this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. And this is my Tartlet Toasted. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I think the quality on this is really beautiful. I like that the oranges, like the warm oranges are like muted oranges. They're not bright in your face crazy oranges. And then it's got you know a lot of nice neutrals. So I really like this one. I'm gonna keep that one. Let's see. Oh, let me grab this palette, this um, stack, and let me grab this stack. Okay, so I have two Anastasia palettes. Um, this one I really love. The Sultry is, when I saw this, I was like, yes, that's my color palette. I love that. Like, look at these um, predominantly cool tones. You know, I've got a pop of warm right there, but it's a predominantly cool toned palette. And I think the quality is amazing. I love it. Some people don't like Anastasia's shadows. They're too soft and powdery, but I really enjoy them. So this one I really love. Modern Renaissance, I like. This one is more like a cult classic. I think it's a palette that you know everyone tells you you have to have, and that's kind of why I picked it up. I do enjoy it. Um, I think the quality is nice. I'm going to keep it. Um, let's see, this Morph palette is a complete joke you guys i'm definitely getting rid of this these okay so this came in a boxy locks and i think there was four variations that month that they would possibly send you and this was the one variation that i was like please 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 don't send me this palette and this of course is what they sent me so i did a get ready with me and i used this bright cheeto orange it's so ugly you guys um but when i did the get ready with me you know i thought the quality was you know decent the metallic shimmers they are really pigmented the mattes were nice i think i used either this one or this one but you guys i looked in the mirror an hour later and the mattes had completely completely 100 percent vanished from my eyes all that was left was this terrible ugly cheeto orange color so i'm definitely getting rid of this i think the quality is garbage i don't understand the hype behind morph palettes and i will never buy any morph morphe Okay, this Revolution Soph palette. Um, I'm kind of torn on this palette, you guys. I feel like I'm supposed to love it because it has all these like nice neutral matte colors and then it's got a couple pops of color. But these shimmers, you guys, they're just, look at that. They're just so lackluster. I'm pretty sure this is hard pan already. I don't know. I watched so many reviews on this palette and everyone just loved this and they were raving about it but look at that you guys and then the mattes the mattes are just nothing special i've worn this use this palette half a dozen times and i'm just not impressed or inspired even though there's so many colors in here for some reason i'm still not inspired so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that um let's see this tart palette my tartus pro you know, I've kept this for a long time um, because I love all these purples. But you guys, I have so many purples at this point that are better quality. Um, this is one of their, I don't know, I don't really know how to describe this palette, the quality. Um, yes, they go on nicely, but they don't last all that long. They're, they don't have a lot of longevity. These colors right here, I'm not interested in any of these colors. So I think I'm going to get rid of this, you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finally get rid of that. Um, let's see, these Wet n Wilds, I think I'm gonna get rid of all of them, you guys. Um, this is a Modern Renaissance dupe, I don't need that. This one, I really don't like the color story. If I was gonna keep any of them, I would keep these two. But you know what, guys, I just don't need them. I held on to them thinking, oh, I should keep some drugstore palettes or you know, I could travel with them. But how many travel palettes do I really need? And I don't need to keep palettes around just to be able to say, oh, I have, you know, drugstore. So I'm going to get rid of them. And this BH Cosmetics, the Shanex, the Remix palette, I think the quality is really nice. Um, BH Cosmetics is hit or miss, but I think the quality on this one is really nice. The problem is half the shades in here are just boring or I just don't use. Like that one I don't really use. That one's too dark. I don't really like it. That's a wasted skin tone color. My skin tone color, obviously. Um, don't really like that color. This color is too bright. Everything else I enjoy, but I don't want to keep, you know, this is bulky to begin with. 
and I don't want to keep a palette just to only enjoy half the shadows so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that um, let's see my Violet Voss Holy Grail I got this in a boxy luxe I think the quality is really nice so I have this and then I liked the quality so I went out for my birthday this year and treated myself to the like a boss palette now the like a boss palette I'm definitely keeping but this one I'm looking at this you guys and first of all all these colors right here these pinky red metallics I'm never gonna wear they're just in this one just not my style this one like this one red color is basically in the modern renaissance and then all of these like soft neutrally browns that I'm drawn to are already in oops if I can get it open they're already in the like a boss palette so I oh I think I'm gonna get rid of this one I'm really surprised that I'm saying this but I think I'm gonna get rid of that one I'm gonna keep my like a boss palette and I'm gonna keep my modern renaissance okay these zodiac palettes um, this is the original I really love this original one I think the quality on these shadows are really good like this Aquarius color that's my sign by the way was made for me this gorgeous gold these um, baked shadows are so good the mattes are really good it's got a lot of really beautiful purples in it so I'm definitely keeping that one and then this one um, I'm gonna keep this one I really like this one as well not as much as the first one but I do really like it the quality is really good look at these two colors you guys oh look at that so good definitely gonna keep that one okay let's see um, okay this tart one came in a boxy charm it's like the second one of these round rainforest palettes that they've sent I already decluttered the first one and I'm decluttering this one you guys look at these shadows they're exactly the same I don't understand these um, rainforest palettes they all blend away into nothing basically they all look the same um, why do they keep coming out with these rainforest palettes are people asking for these I find that hard to believe because these are just so boring and they're not even real the um, shimmers they're really not even that unique or special okay so my Lorac palette um, I have the Lorac Pro 2 which was the cool tone palette and I depotted it like a year and a half ago I went on a depotting spree and I depotted a lot of my shadows and then I had the Lorac Pro 4 which was their um, kind of like pinky berry colored one but the problem with the Lorac Pro 4, I'll open this in a minute, um, the Lorac Pro 4 was a lot of the mattes on the top were slightly different from each other, but in the end, they all just kind of created the same look. And then the um, shimmer metallics on the bottom, several of them were just way too dark and I would never use them, so I wasn't reaching for it. So when I was doing my singles video um, the other day, I came across my Lorac palette you know my depotted palette and I decided you know what? I'm gonna depot the four so I depotted the four and I put all the Lorac's together the two and the four together and I pulled out all the shades that I really liked so and I put them into here so now when I open this I have a mishmash of the Lorac Pro 2 and the Lorac Pro 4 and they're all different and they're all colors that I really enjoy so now when I open this palette there's nothing in here that is too dark for me there's nothing in here that is so similar to another color that they're just basically the same color so now I'm more inclined to use this and get some more use out of my Lorac shadows um, let's see this revolution palette I haven't really played around this yet the only color I really played with is that one um, I want to do maybe like a get ready with me using this palette because these um, foiled shadows I'm excited to play with so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that let's see I've got my born to run palette I really love this I think the quality is beautiful some of them are a little bit dark but I've been playing around with like this one I've been playing around with them and I find that some of these darker shades I can use on the lower lash line instead of my eye you know my um, eye eyelid and it works for me and I think the qual I think this is the best urban decay palette they've ever come out with I think the quality is amazing this um, life's a festival palette I got this at TJ Maxx for $19.99 I was really excited to get this these um, 
beautiful duochrome topper shadows are so pretty look at that really beautiful so i'm going to keep that let's see let me start bringing some stacks closer to me okay this ace Beauté palette um, i got this in a boxy charm i think the quality is really good these mattes are beautiful these metallics they're very pigmented but the problem is half the shadows in this palette i don't like or i'm not going to use like this pink color is beautiful but when i do these types of like darker red type colors it has to be matte for me these types of colors i'm like shimmer colors i'm not going to wear on the lid i would only wear them on the outer v to smoke out a color so like this one is beautiful well it looks it just swatched really chalky but on the eyes it's really nice this color up here is beautiful this color too dark i don't use it too dark i don't use it don't use that one like i said and this is a throwaway skin tone color so in reality i only really enjoy four out of these eight shadows so to me that's kind of a waste i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that someone else will really like that i think the quality is really good though okay this nightingale palette um by pretty vulgar came in a boxy charm i've kept it because it's a nice cool tone palette and it kind of reminds me of like a naked palette these two right here way too dark these shimmer shades way too dark and these ones up here this is a throwaway color this one really does nothing and this one is just you know boring doesn't really do anything like you can really swatch it and get it to kind of show up but overall this palette is just very boring and i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and the quality to be honest is mediocre um, let me just clean my arm off a little bit real quick okay so these colored rain palettes i'm definitely keeping these these are beautiful this is the queen of hearts palette uh these metallics are so good you guys and the mattes are really good let me you guys look at that that swatched a little chalky but their mattes perform really nicely on the eyes look at that you guys so so beautiful so that's the queen of hearts i'm happy that i finally got it my friend julie um, let me know that they were having a sale and that's when I ended up buying my first colored rain palettes. This palette is Cheers to the Beauty. So beautiful. You guys, this color right here is so pretty. Look at this. So their metallics are so beautiful. I have another one somewhere. I think it might be in this stack. Yes, okay. So let's go on to this stack. And then this is their Safari Rain palette. And this palette, you guys, this color story is so beautiful. Look at this right here. And these olivey greens and golds. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. So beautiful. Um, they have a couple, like this one and this one. And they're chunky, and you do need to use a glitter glue with them. Otherwise, they kind of crumble on you. But look at this, you guys oh my god look at that holy moly let me show you the tigress color too oh look at that you guys so so beautiful definitely keeping that okay so this pretty poison um like the color pot palettes the bad habit palettes um all the shadows are magnetized they're not glued down and they easily pop out so I had depotted all of my Bad Habit palettes, um, except for the Inferno palette. That one is the only one that doesn't pop out, they're glued down. So I had depotted all my Bad Habit palettes except for the Pretty Poison one. And then when I was going through my singles, again, I rearranged this palette. There are several shades in here that just kept me from really loving this palette. Um, some of the shimmers were just too dark, some of them were colors that I just didn't enjoy. And so I rearranged this. I pulled in some of my other bad habit colors. And now when I open this, you guys, I absolutely love this palette. So I have my pinks going into my purples. This row of shimmers, this row of shimmers, they're all beautiful. I love every single color in here. There's nothing in here that I'm like, no, I don't like that. Look at that, you guys. 
so beautiful. So if you ever have these palettes that um, pop out easily, don't be afraid to rearrange them or swap them out because you guys, I now had, I had, I did this with like four or five, even with my Lorac palette, I did this, ended up doing this with like six different palettes that were just mediocre to me and now I love them. This Bare Minerals, I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, I, oh, hi kitty, hi lady. Odd story, um, this one was $4.99 and then there's another exact one sitting next to it, same palette and everything, Bare Neutrals, that for some reason was $9.99 and this was brand new, it was, wasn't swatched, it wasn't broken. So I'm not sure why this was $4.99 and the other one was $9.99. But anyways, um, this is a good palette. There's just not enough variety in here. I think the quality is really nice. For a while I was tempted to keep this, you know, as a travel palette. But like I said before, I don't need that many travel palettes. And there's really only one matte in here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. It's really cute, but I don't need it. This Love in London palette. I'm going to keep by BH Cosmetics. I think this is a really beautiful, cool tone palette. This color right here is really good. Um, this is one of their palettes that's, you know, good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I really like that one. This Fame palette. Excuse my sniffles. I have my allergies. I need to take my allergy pill. Um, oh, lady. Hi, lady. Watch out. Um, this Fame palette palette by ColourPop is a cool tone palette. There are several shades in here that were so similar to each other that when you blend them out on the eye, it's just the same eye color, the same look. So when I was doing my singles, again, I had depotted almost all of my ColourPop shadows. And when I had them all together, I ended up pulling out all the duplicates, what I felt were duplicates from here, and that were just kind of wasted space, skin tone colors, whatever and I pulled in other colors from other palettes. So now you guys, when I open this palette, I really love it. I tried to keep it um, cool toned. This one, yes, is, is warmer. And then you have this beautiful green. But for the most part, I kept it cool toned. And you guys, I love everything in here. This color is really nice. This color right here is like a blue sparkle, but when you get it on the eyes, it basically just works as a black. See, so look at that. This just kind of blends away as a black. Oh, lady, my goodness, lady. Um, so now, when I look at this palette, I lady, come on. When I look at this palette, um, I really like it, and I definitely will be able to get more use out of it. It's a nice, cool tone palette that I can reach for. Oh, goodness, lady. It's so silly. She needs attention. This is my Tarte palette, Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free. This is the first Tarte palette, you guys, in a long time that has really, like, drawn me. Like, it's not boring. It's beautiful. It's really good quality. Like I said before, their palette, their qual Lady, move silly. Um, their quality is very hit or miss, but this one I think is really beautiful. I love the color story. These shimmers are really nice. And I'm really happy to have that one. I'm really happy that they kind of stepped out of their boring neutral box. Okay, this Juvia's palette, this is the other one that I got. This one I really love. Um, I think the metallics in here are just crazy insane. Like, look at this. Like, look at that. It's crazy. Um, this palette to me is not a standalone palette. Um, there's not enough like crease colors in here. So I will use this when I want just like a, a crazy metallic pop on the lid. And I will use it with another matte palette. Um, this Natural Lust palette by Too Faced. I'm going to keep this one. I think this is really pretty. It has a lot of nice, neutral, soft, um, soft colors. Let me wipe off my arm super quick, you guys. And then we're going to get into the last stack. There's only a few left. And these are going to be all of my Jeffree Star palettes, which I'm going to just tell you now, I'm not getting rid of any of them. I love Jeffree Star palettes. So he just had a sale a few weeks ago, 30% off, and Jeffree Star never has sales. So I ended up picking up three palettes. I got this mini breaker palette. You guys, this palette is so beautiful. I can't wait to play with it. Look at this, you guys. Like, so beautiful. Can't wait to play with that one. So I'm definitely keeping that one. This is my blood sugar palette. Definitely keeping this. Really nice, keeping that. 
And then during the sale, I picked up the Beauty Killer palette. I kind of wish, like this palette is so big and bulky. It's beautiful, I think it's interesting, it's unique, but it's so hard to store, you guys. I wish he would kind of keep them with his original thin packaging. But this is his Beauty Killer palette, you guys. The only color in here that I'm a little af afraid of is this bright neon pink, but you guys, this is so pretty. That's a beauty killer. And then I got the Thirsty palette during his sale. And this one is really pretty, you guys. Um, these two are too neon for me. I, I don't think I would really get any use out of those. I mean, I might try to experiment and play around with it. But everything else in here is beautiful, you guys. Um, I'm excited to try this color. Um, I think I want to use, I'll use like a, because it's neon, like it's crazy neon. But I think I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and um, blend it into the crease. But by using the big fluffy brush, it'll kind of diffuse the color. So I'm excited to play with this one. I'm really excited to test out these glitters. And then the last palette, you guys, is my Alien palette. And I'm definitely not getting rid of this palette. I love it so much. I'm like a broken record here, you guys. I love Jeffree Star's formula. Like, look at this mustard color, you guys. Watch this. You guys, look at that. Look at how that mustard color just swatched. This palette is so beautiful. I think this is like the perfect palette. I love it. The only thing that I would change in this palette is I wish this dark brown were matte instead of metallic, and I would swap out this skin tone color for maybe like an olive green but you guys this palette is just so beautiful the quality is crazy all right guys i'm gonna stop the camera real quick i'm gonna sort everything out like you know readjust things over so that it's easier to see and i'll be right back. all right you guys so this is everything that i'm keeping and this is everything that i'm getting rid of i think there's got to be at least 20 to 25 palettes there so I'll, may not look like i got rid of a whole lot but you guys, everything that I kept, I really love. I'm excited about. Some of them I haven't used yet, and I'm excited to use them. And I'm happy about everything that I'm getting rid of, you guys. There's not anything in there that I'm like, oh, I think I might want to keep it. No, I'm going to get rid of everything. All right, you guys. Um, so that's everything. Um, tomorrow is going to be the final video for my declutter, so make sure you watch that one. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.